ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ತಿರಾಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನಶಲಾಖಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ ಉನ್ಮೀಲಿತ ಯೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಯೇನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದಾ ಮಹಿಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತಿಕ ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಣಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಿ ಗದಾದ್ರಿ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ್ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ್ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ್ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ್ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ್ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ್ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಡಿಯರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಚಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರಭು ಫಾರ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ವೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಂಗೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಇನ್ ದ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವೈಷ್ಣವಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ವೈಷ್ಣವಸ್ ಹೂ ಮೈ ಸಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಕಾಲ್ uh i offer my obeisances thank you for kindly participating i am fired in any way to be addressing an esteemed assembly like all of you uh, sincere vaishnavas who are chanting who are uh, following all the principles and serving sincerely studying shrimad bhagavatam worshiping tulsi and observing ekadashi um such um sincere devotees i am certainly not qualified to be speaking but shrimad bhagavatam says that sa uttama shloka mahan mukhachyato bhavat padam bhoj sudha kana nila smritir punar vismriti tatva vartmano kuyogi namno vitaratyalam varai prithu maharaj he mentions that just by engaging in the process of speaking about krishna and hearing about krishna our remembrance of krishna will reawaken in the heart this is very important point prithu maharaj mentions that although we read so much and we hear so much when time comes it doesn't help us is it not when lust attacks or anger attacks or somebody tries to agitate us so although we know kamesha krodesha rajoguna samudbhava or although we know that uh, krodad bhavati sammoha sammoha smriti vibhrama smritir bhramsha buddhi nasho buddhi nashat pranashyati we know trividam narakasyedam dwaram nashanam atmanah kama krodha tatha lobha tasmad etatrayam tyajet memorizing these verses is the easiest on the path but when actually anger attacks when someone speaks something which agitates us it is very difficult to use all this <laughs> it's not impossible but it takes lot of spiritual strength so why does this happen prithu maharaj mentions it happens because of vismriti the first thing that happens is these anarthas they attack straight at the smriti you see if we remember everything and if we are able to apply them then the anarthas lose the battle <laughs> so first thing that they do is they attack the smriti or remembrance they will take away although it's although we will think oh yes i know this verse or i have heard this verse i have read this verse but when time comes hmm, um it may not help because vismriti tatva vartmano the anarthas attack vismriti or let's say they attack the smriti of the lord and cause vismriti let's put it like that they attack the remembrance of the lord and make us forget and as a result we are helpless so what is the way out prithu maharaj says sa uttama shloka mahan mukhachuto bhavat padam bhoja sudha kananila that the only way by which smritir punar punah smriti ki jagriti kaise ho ye prashna uthta hai ki vismriti ke path pe hum sab chal rahe hain we are all walking on the path of forgetfulness of krishna how can we reawaken the remembrance of krishna how is it that every moment we can think actually this person is not agitating me hmm? krishna is trying to teach me some lesson it is me alone who is responsible they are simply instruments if they are saying something why is it agitating me because the problem is with me how much tolerance haridas thakur had how much tolerance pralad maharaj had how much tolerance kunti devi had i am chanting hare krishna why i don't have so much tolerance why at small small things i complain 
Why at small, small things I criticize and I blame? So the problem is with me, right? Let's say there is a wound here and I take this finger and I start touching here. I will not have any pain. But only when I touch here at the wound will I have pain. So the problem is not with the finger because if the problem was with the finger, wherever I touch, it should hurt. But here is the wound and when the finger touches the wound, that's when I say, ah. So it's not the finger, it's the wound. So similarly, when someone says something, it's not that they are the concern because if they were the concern at all times, everyone around them should be agitated. <laughs> but that's not what's happening. The problem is because the wound is in my consciousness. Therefore, I am responsible. There is something that is troubling from inside. They are not responsible. I am responsible. Is everyone understanding the example? The wound is in my consciousness. It's not the finger from outside that is responsible. Similarly, we can see, let's say when we are walking, there are a lot of uh, stones on the path. If we walk barefoot, then Trinachara Nugam Shrini Ketanam. If we walk barefoot and there are stones on the, on the street, what will happen? Our, the sole of our feet will get hurt. But if we wear shoes, however difficult the path is, you think we will get hurt? We will not. The shoes on our feet will protect us against all the stones. So it's not that the stones are responsible. It's that I don't have shoes. To protect my feet. And if I have shoes, then however, how many, how many ever stones are there, doesn't matter. I can even run on that path and not get hurt. Is it not? So similarly, whoever says whatever outside, it's just like a stone. But because I have lack of Krishna consciousness, I get hurt by it. If I have the strong shoes of very deep Krishna consciousness, the substance inside, bhakti is so deep, so grave in the heart, that irrespective of how many stones are there on my path, the shoe is protecting my consciousness. The protective layer of bhakti is protecting me. As a result, you can see the more advanced the person is, he doesn't find any problem because he's having such high level of tolerance because the shoe of bhakti is protecting him. But when the shoe is missing, that protection from bhakti is missing because of lack of absorption in the sadhana, then we complain over all the stones on the path. I hope we're all understanding what we are, we are trying to discuss. It is very important. We'll give third example. Let's say it is raining outside and it is pouring. This uh, rain shower. One thing we can do is we can complain about how much rain, how much rain shower or torrents of rain. Oh, it's so troublesome. Uh, I cannot go out anywhere. Uh, I'm not able to take the train. I'm not able to go for a preaching program or a class. I'm not able to go on Harinam Sankirtan. One thing is I can do all that. Or another thing I can do is I can take an umbrella and walk under the umbrella. So instead of complaining about how much it's raining or trying to stop the, the rain, which is impossible, <laughs> instead of doing that, we can make sure that the rain doesn't touch us by holding the umbrella. So similarly, in this world, the rain shower of Dukkha is going to be there. When Krishna says, Dukkha le mashashvatam, there is Dukkha. Samsara Dukkha jaladau patitasya kama krodadi nakra makarai kavali kritasya durvasana nigaditasya nirashrayasya chaitanya chandra mamadehi padavalamba. Sri Pat Prabhodananda Saraswati says, how much Dukkha is there in this world? <laughs> He says, Samsara Dukkha Jaladau. This world is actually an ocean of suffering. Ocean. Not water drop. Not tap water. Not rain water. But ocean. Unlimited. Depth. Ek tat se dusre tat. Asankhya. Asimit. Gin bhi nahi sakte utne jal ke chitkare hai ya boond hai kanika hai. We can't even count how many drops of water are there in an ocean. It's very deep. From one end to another end, it's impossible to cross. Hmm? So Sri Pat Prabhupada Saraswati says, Samsara Dukkha Jaladau. This world is actually an ocean of suffering. And now he describes 
<laughs> he gives more descriptions. So I request all of you, if you attentively hear, then you will catch all these details. Shripad Prabodhananda Saraswati says, Samsara dukkha jaladav patitasya kama krodadi nakramakarai kavali kritasya. That my Lord, this world is actually an ocean of suffering. And I have fallen into this ocean. The bad news now is, Kama krodadi nakramakarai. Lust, anger, greed, pride, envy. When somebody else is doing better than us, envying how his life is better than mine. He also got, uh, he also graduated at the same time as me. He also came out of school at the same time as me. But they ko wo jivan mein aage chale gaye. Ye bahut lagu cheta saam. Chote vichar wale log aise sochte hain. Mujh jaise log. Ayam nija paro veti gananam lagu cheta saam. Udara charita naam tu vasudha eva kutum bakam. Those who have very narrow minded thinking, they think like that. But those who are very broad minded, they think that swastiyastu uh, vishwasya kalaha prasidatam that may everybody be happy they don't ask for their joy let everybody be happy vasudev datta said may i take the sin of the whole world and go to hell may everybody go back home back to got it haridas thakur said i need to be whipped more because i heard the uh, blasphemy of the holy name hmm? and gopal chapal was speaking um, so, um, his criticism of the holy name, hmm. Gopal Chakravarti. Uh, this is what um, is the price I had to pay. I need to pay more, he said. <laughs> so, being envious of others, feeling very lusty, looking at the, the opposite sex, being angry when someone doesn't listen to us, being very greedy, I want more. Whether it's more rasgullas or whether it's more money or whether it's more name and fame. Um, being upset when being criticized. Being happy when being glorified. These are all what Prabodhananda Saraswati says in the ocean of suffering. All these emotions are the crocodiles, the sharks, the whales. Nakra. Nakra means crocodile. Krodadi nakra makarai. And makar means uh, shark. The crocodiles and shark in the water of distress. So this world is an ocean of suffering. And in that, the crocodile, the shark, the whales, the big timingala fishes are these emotions, these negative anarthas. So somebody could say, when we are in an ocean and these uh, aquatics are attacking us, what we could do? We can swim, try to swim <laughs> faster away from these aquatics. Prabodhananda Saraswati says, Durvasana nigaditasse nirashrayasse. My Lord, I want to swim away from them, but my hands and legs are tied by the samskaras of, of bad habits from past. Many times we can see, even when we switch off the switch of the fan, the fan is switched off, but because it's been going on for one, two hours, the blades continue to move even after the switch is off. Is it not? Haven't we seen that? The ceiling fan continues to move. And then after some time, it gets pacified. <laughs> it stops. So similarly, although we have switched off bad activities, we don't perform them. We are following regulative principles. But because over lifetimes, we have done those adharmic activities. Tasma shastram pramanam te kari akarya vyavastito. Yeh shastra vidhi mutsrujya vartate kama karataha. Nasa siddhi mavapnoti na sukham na paramgatim. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, the more we break regulative principles, the more we break scriptural principles, the more we break the instructions of the spiritual master. Nasa siddhi mavapnoti. We will not get perfection in whatever we are doing. Na sukham. Forget about happiness. And na paramgatim, liberation and bhakti and back home, back to Godhead and Krishna Prem. Let's not even talk about those things he's saying. <laughs> Krishna is saying. Paramgatim, not possible. We have to be under the anushasan, the, the discipline of Shastra and Guru. Very important. Otherwise, it's not happening. So Sripad Prabhupada Saraswati says, in the ocean of dukkha in this world, the aquatics of anarthas are biting and chewing me away. And when I try to swim away from them, my hands and legs are tied because of my past samskaras. Even after being a devotee and switching off the switch of 
bad activities, the blades are moving for some time. Therefore, even after we sometimes see, although we don't engage in those activities, since still we can sometimes get bad dreams, very bad impressions from past life. We may see in a dream that maybe we are drinking or smoking or eating something that we should not, although we are not doing any of that, but because over lifetimes we have done it, those impressions are there in the consciousness. Prabodhananda Saraswati is saying, all of them are killing me. Of course, he is in humility, he is speaking. He is the Diksha Guru of Gopal Bhatta Goswami, for whom a Shaligran Shila became Radha Raman. So <laughs> he is not uh, speaking his Vyatha. He is speaking our Vyatha, our Dukkha. We don't even know how to pray. So he is praying very kindly on our behalf. So he is saying <clears throat> that in the ocean of Dukkha of this world, Mm. The aquatics called anarthas are attacking me. And when I try to swim away from them, I can't because my hands and legs are tied by the impressions of past life, reactions from past life, because I've been sinful for past lives. It's stopping me. Although I know something is wrong, I still watch all those mm, things. Although I know I should not be hearing Bollywood music, still I sometimes you know, sneak in and hear some song or something. Although I know I should not gossip, I still continue to do that because I've been doing it for so many lifetimes. And at such a point, as I'm drowning in this ocean, I see no lifeguard, savior, rescue operator. Chaitanya Chandra Mamadehi Padavalambam. Shri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, apart from you, I am a Kali Yuga soul, a soul who's stuck in Kali Yuga, entangled in Kali Yuga. I'm embodied and completely stuck in the meshes of birth and death in Kali Yuga. And apart from you, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, I have nobody. Please help me. <laughs> this is how much Dukkha is there in this world. In another verse, King Kulashekara writes, Trishna toye madana pavano dhutamo hormi male dara varte tanaya sahaja graha sanga kulecha samsarakhe mahati jalado majjatam nastridhaman padam boje varada bhavato bhakti navam prayacha. My Lord, I am stuck in the ocean of suffering. Now look at his description. Our um, King Kula Shekhar in Sri Mukundamala Stotra, very dear book to Srila Prabhupada's heart. Um, and very dear to His Grace Radhisham Prabhu's heart also. One time I remember um, when I had come to NVCC um, temple, Radha Vrindavan Chandra temple, one um, senior devotee from the temple who um, knew me from, from uh, America, uh, he was telling Radhisham Prabhu that when I went to that temple, whichever temple I was um, serving at that point, so he said that uh, when I went to that temple, there was somebody who was in the laundry room putting his dhoti and singing Mukundamala Stotra. So that devotee said, I went and saw and it was this boy. It was many years ago. So I was still a boy at that time. Now I've become a man, I think, grown older with time. So he was introducing to Radhisham Prabhu. And then he told Radhisham Prabhu that uh, so he, this boy has some inclination towards Mukundamala Stotra. And then at that time, His Grace Radhisham Prabhu, uh, at that time, then the devotee looked at me and he said, you know, His Grace Radhisham Prabhu has been chanting Mukundamala Stotra for so many years now. And there was a time when he had the vrat to chant it before Mangalarati, the whole book, <laughs> 50 verses. So he's been doing it for many years like that, he was saying. So I just got reminded because I am speaking to um, very wonderful devotional um, students and followers of His Grace Radhisham Prabhu, and I'm speaking about Mukundamala Stutra, so I just got reminded of that. So in that book, King Kulashekra writes, Trishna toye madana pavano dhuta mohormi mali. Look at his description of Dukkha in this world. He says that this world is an ocean where the waters are insatiable Material desires. Trishna toya. Toya means toya means water. Patram pushpam phalam toyam, right? You know this word. Toya means water. And Trishna, not Krishna, but Trishna means material thirst, desires, ichai, ashai, abhilashai, apekshai, all different pariyayavachi shabda in Hindi, Marathi, Sanskrit that uh, desires. Hmm? Unlimited water in the ocean. They are all material desires. Then, Trishna Toye Madana Pavana, 
you can see constant blowing of wind over the ocean right ocean surface and it is causing some ripples and tides on the surface so in kulashekara says what is that breeze trishna toye madana pavana the pavana the breeze is madan lusty desires constant thought of how to gratify myself and not just lusty desires in the sense of uh, gross sense gratification uh, as krishnadas kaviraj goswami has described that uh, what is kam atmendra priti vancha tari boli kam krishnendra priti icha dhari prem nam any desire to satisfy oneself if i play mrudanga also i should sit ahead so that everybody looks at me if i do kirtan also i should do kirtan on the mic so that everybody can hear my sweet transcendental voice if i do kirtan also it should be not in the afternoon when there are not many people it should be prime slot in the evening when actual abhishek is going on even when i am doing Uh, some service let's say i'm making garlands the garland should be made in such a way that it should be offered at a time or during a day when more people will watch and they will ask who has made the garland even if i'm cooking at the temple it should be for the feast or it should be at a time when devotees will honor not in the mood that made more devotees be pleased but then they will ask cook kon hai aaj kisne cooking kiya you know so even through services the desire to put ourselves ahead this is the blowing wind shila radhana swami maharaj was explaining in one class that the devotee should be like salt adding taste in the lives of others but himself being invisible <laughs> very interesting i really like this example although i'm far away from the standard but <laughs> it's nice to at least keep as a goal in our mind so king kulashekara describes as much water is there in the ocean so much material desires are there in the heart the blowing of the wind on the surface of this ocean is constant lusty desires the desire to put ourselves ahead of others and if somebody else is stopping our desire to get ahead then we say that person is jealous that person is envious that person is a micromanager that person has some ego that person has some problem with me not that they are act- because they are trying because they are saying something which is stopping us from coming ahead and fulfilling our desire to egoistically put ourselves in public we blame it on them instead of saying that it is my material desire which is not fulfilled and i am getting agitated so trishna toye madana pavana udhuta moha urmi male then he says the tides which are there in the ocean are our material planning you see how the tides are in the ocean they come and they crash but as they crash another set of waves and tides are coming already so in material life our planning is more than execution execution is less and planning is more <laughs> today my chanting was not good kal main 3 baje uthkar mangal aarti se pehle 16 rounds karunga fir then by the time we wake up um it is already like 4:15 then we rush into the shower and somehow go down and we are sleepy and um, even krishna is standing on the altar and thinking are baba if you're sleepy you, know, <laughs> you if you don't want to see me you go sleep i don't want such tamasic devotees and then because we are sleep deprived and chanting we are sitting and sleeping and then we try to stand and then look around who is doing what and who is drinking more water and who is who are the other people sleeping uh, who is doing radar japa looking around we are looking around on who is looking around and in this way chanting is done and then we make more plans that no hum honge kamyab ek din you know today my chanting was not good but tomorrow it will be good asha bandha hmm? planning is more than execution so this kulashekhar ji king kulashekhar has said that constant waves constant tides are crashing on the ocean surface they are material planning moha urmi male moha illusion aise karunga fir main aise karunga fir main aise chanting karunga main fir fir prasad aadha paunga fir main zyada reading karunga fir main aise kar and nothing happens or even if it happens very little so this moha of illusory planning and less execution are the tides okay now he is going underwater he says dara varte tanaya sahaja grah sangha kulecha he says the underwater aquatics in the form of sharks and crocodiles and um different um, underwater aquatics which are you know whales which are ready to eat up human beings what are they 
they are brothers and sisters and sons and daughters and mothers and fathers and husband and wife and all these relations i am not saying it king kulashekar is saying daravarte tanaya tanaya we know is son sahaja sahaja means brother dara means wife daravarte tanaya sahaja graha sangha kulecha all of them are compared to aquatics not that we are saying that family uh, members are all um, bad we are not saying that but we are saying in performing any uh, responsibility in this world it takes away time it takes away time somebody becomes sad at home you have to sit and pacify them we have to give up our chanting at that point and see what is wrong there if the baby is crying in the cradle person cannot tell the child you know let me finish my mangal aarti then i will talk to you the child is screaming in the cradle so you have to keep your agarbatti down and then you have to run and see what the child is troubled with you know if it's stomach problem or he is you know he's eaten something or i don't know what that is so constant anxiety that comes in family life and um, responsibilities that are there they like aquatics eat away our time they eat away our time so therefore we find uh, uh, on the path of bhakti uh, three out of the four ashramas are that of virakti brahmacharis are renounced vanaprasthis are renounced and sanyasis are renounced because the path of getting krishna is vyavasayatmika buddhi ekeha kuru nandanam being one pointed when we are multi branched in so many responsibilities in life then we can't give our heart completely to krishna not possible <laughs> not possible this is why we see the queens of krishna in dwaraka although they are very advanced vaishnavis they are very great um we see in the brihad bhagavata amrita that shila sanatan goswami he says that the gopis of vrindavan are higher why because the queens of dwaraka they have 10 sons and one daughter with krishna so naturally their mind is divided and the heart that they give to krishna is 1/12th after giving their attention to 10 sons and one daughter whatever is remaining that they give it to krishna <laughs> and their relation with krishna is that they are wives so they are dependent on krishna and they have a home in the form of the palace so there is so many other things but the gopis if you see no children so 100% they can offer their heart to krishna Mm, so this is there definitely this is there of course grihastha ashram is also very glorious and we can always uh, um, keep krishna in the center but considerably it is little difficult with more responsibilities the mind is bifurcated and there is no doubt about it so uh, king kulashekara he says that uh, the aquatics in the ocean of this world are material attachments and material responsibilities and material relations then he says what is this ocean that i am describing samsar akhe mahati jalado majhatam nastri dhaman this mahati jalado this very great ocean that i am describing is called samsara material birth and death repeated birth and death this material world and he tells krishna majhatam my lord o lord of the three worlds three dhaman i am drowning in this ocean of dukha so krishna says so what do you want what do you want me to do he says just throw a boat i can get on the boat and cross this ocean king then krishna says what is the boat that you want me to throw so king kulashekara says padam bhoje varad bhavato bhakti navam prayach aapke charano ke prati nischala achala bhakti ke noke ko aap pradan kijiye he prabhu oh krishna please give me the boat of undeviated devotion to your lotus feet because if somebody has devotion to your lotus feet they can cross over all dukha in life samashrita ye pad pallava plavam mahat padam punya yasho murare bhavam budhir vatsa padam param padam 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 yat vipadam na tesham brahma ji has also said this in canto 10 chapter 14 text 58 shrimad bhagavatam that the ocean of suffering which is insurmountable which we cannot cross can be crossed hmm? by bhakti if somebody has bhakti to the lotus feet of the lord then that ocean water becomes as small as water droplets held not in the hoof prints of a cow but the hoof imprint of a calf koi agar bachda ho little calf and one of the legs of that calf is imprinted in mud then you can see the hoof small hoof print 
उसमें जितने जल के बूंद जितनी कणिकाएं उपस्थित हो सकती है भर सकती है उतना छोटे उतने छोटे मात्रा में महासागर का पानी वहां सीमित हो जाता है द इन सरमाउंटेबल ओशन ऑफ दुख बिकम सो स्मॉल लाइक वॉटर ड्रॉपलेट हेल्ड इन दूफ प्रिंट ऑफ अ कैफ विच मीन्स द पर्सन डव टू स्विम अक्रॉस ही कैन जस्ट वॉक ओवर ही कैन जस्ट जम्प ओवर एंड देर इज नो मोर सफरिंग देर फोर वी कैन सी इन एन वी सी सी टेम्पल वेंकटेश्वर राइट श्रीनिवास बालाजी डी टी इज देर एंड दिस इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट वेरी वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट बिकॉज समबडी में से दैट वी आर गौड़ वैष्णवस वी वर्षिप राधा कृष्ण और चैतन्य महाप्रभु वाई हैव वेंकटेश्वर वाई हैव श्रीनिवास बालाजी तिरुपति द लॉर्ड ऑफ तिरुपति देर इट इज वेरी वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट यूर डिवोट इज वाई because if we see the mudra if you see the posture in which he stands you can see one hand is like this towards his knee or his waist and another hand is pointing down have we seen when we take darshan one hand is holding his waist or his knee and another hand is pointing down what does it show it shows dear devotees if you focus down at my lotus feet ocean of suffering will become knee deep and you can cross over it you don't even have to swim jo pani jo pani ki mahasagar ke vishay mein hum charcha kar rahe hain jo vyakti ko bade bade diggajon ko duba sakta hai are wo pani itna kam ho jata hai ghutno tak aa jata hai vyakti paar karta hai kuch tair kar nahi chal kar apne ghutne tak ka pani vyakti tair kar nahi chal kar लांग सकता है पार हो सकता है तो एवरी टाइम वी सी डिवोटीज आर प्रीचिंग दिस टू अदर्स दैट परफॉर्म भक्ति देन देर विल बी नो सफरिंग हियर फर्स्ट टाइम वी सी द लॉर्ड फ्रॉम द ऑल्टर ही इज प्रीचिंग टू द डिवोटीज दैट इफ यू टेक शेल्टर ऑफ माई लोटस फीड बाई शोइंग हिज हैंड देन द सफरिंग द ओशन ऑफ सफरिंग बिकम्स नी डीप देर फोर ही इज होल्डिंग इट लाइक दिस सो देर फोर यू कैन फाइंड दैट किंग कुलशेखर टेल्स इन दैट वर्स टू कृष्णा that i am suffering and drowning in this ocean my lord if you can please give me the boat of devotion then i can get on that boat and i can cross over i don't need anything else so why did i mention the verse from prabodhananda saraswati and the verse from uh, king kulashekhar to illustrate this example that when it rains profusely when it rains profusely we can stop the rain water we can stop we can stop the rain shower but what we can do is we can stand under an umbrella so krishna consciousness uh, is very uh, significant in all our lives because the rain shower is that of dukkha constant background violin of dukkha is going on in everybody's life you know sometimes there are some dramas and something else is going on but background there is violin going on <laughs> i don't know to play violin so i'm but i'm I, i hope all of you are understanding i don't want to say flute sound because the sound of krishna's flute is pleasing and not dukkha but i know that krishna is not playing violin on the altar in any of our temples so i'm using the violin example <laughs> if there is constant background sound of violin some other emotions are going on somebody is talking on a stage you know in a drama but violin is going on it, similarly we can see in our lives also whether we are uh, brahmacharis or sanyasis or whether we are young or old whether we are male or female whatever may be our condition and whatever we may be into some constant background violin is going on for all of us those who are intelligent you may see they may not get uh, some job or they may be intelligent they may have good marks and they may have campus selection but maybe the package is not enough maybe the package is also good but they are working 12 hours a day they are not able to chant japa properly or maybe it is a job where they are relaxed and they are it's a good high paying job good package and they have graduated from a good school and working in a good company but it's possible that their health is not good or health is also good but it's possible that maybe they lost their mother or father recently in corona in the covid pandemic or maybe that is also fine but they may have lot of loan and debt from the father side or from the past or maybe that is also fine but uh, they are confused in life maybe they uh, their house they kept money somewhere and maybe there was a break in and there was theft or something like that or maybe 
uh, you know they everything is going on right and they got a new car but that car got an accident got into an accident or something everybody has some concern or the other there is nobody who can say that they are completely happy so if kulashekhara is king kulashekhara is saying if shri pat prabodhananda saraswati is saying if krishna is saying in the bhagavad gita that this world is a notion of suffering we have to believe it the faster we believe the better it is because if we still think that there is lot of joy i am the only one suffering everybody else is happy if we think like this then we our desire to chase the objects of sense gratification in this world will be high and krishna says yahi samsparsha jab hoga dukha yonaya evate adhyantavanta kauntaya nateshuramate budaha that what gives joy in this world is actually like a pregnant mother in whose womb future dukha is already taking birth please note whatever gives joy in this world is like a pregnant mata ji a mother in whose womb the future the child of the future dukkha is already present like for example if some if some mother some mata ji is uh, expecting a child and she enters a house as she enters her child in the womb is also entering so similarly any source of pleasure in this world is like that mata ji pregnant mata ji who's entering in whose womb future dukkha is already written because sukha and dukkha come together you cannot take one <laughs> away from the other i will only increase sukha and i will keep away dukkha not possible his grace radha gopinath prabhu uh, from radha gopinath temple chopati was once giving example long long time ago uh, 10 plus years ago he said that this material world is like sweet rice <laughs> and i was thinking this is a very interesting example because generally people say this material world is like a dry well it is a open pit uh, covered with soft grass it is like an ocean where we are drowning but prabhu ji said this material world is like sweet rice definitely we experience some sweetness but imagine if there is sweet rice the the fluid the rasa that we are tasting is very sweet but the rice that is there in that sweet rice let's say it is uncooked so every time we drink it we are drinking the sweetness but there is some you know inconvenience when you chew the rice with the teeth <laughs> so you cannot say i will only drink the juice and i will not eat the rice it's not possible it will come together so whatever pleasure we think there is along with that sweet rasa the uncooked rice of dukha is already coming we when we come in this world we have signed we have given entry in the database of suffering it is not possible to not suffer in this world suffering is there for everybody abrahma bhuvan aloka punaravartino arjuna mam upetyato kauntaya punarjanma na vidyate for everybody there is suffering but the only boat the only solution is to take shelter of krishna there is no other way we can try to solve it materially we can say वेल well, अगर ऐसा हुआ तो मैं उसका इस समस्या का समाधान मैं ऐसे करूंगा बट इट इज अन फैक्ट दैट द सोल्यूशन टू दैट प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट्स अ बिगर प्रॉब्लम देन जस्ट लेटिंग टॉलरेट देन जस्ट टॉलरेटिंग दैट प्रॉब्लम वी कैन सी वन डिजीज कम्स आउट देन देर इज थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ डॉलर पुट इन द रिसर्च ऑफ द मेडिसिन टू डिस्ट्रॉय दैट disease and in that attempt how many animals are being killed in the animal testing industry in the pharmaceutical drug industry how many different products are put together animal content is put together in the allopathic drugs and then at the end of it all that disease that so called virus or whatever it is we may be able to cross over that but the side effects of the drug will cause few more other diseases this is the nature of this world our attempts to solve the problem creates bigger problems what is the way out the only way out is to stand under the umbrella of krishna consciousness taking shelter of krishna mam ekam sharanam praja aham tvam sarva papebhyo mokshishyami mashucha why do we suffer from dukkha why do we suffer because of sins from past life that is why we suffer is it not if there is uh, piety good activity shubha karma then we enjoy and if it is up ashubha karma from past life in pious activities then we suffer and what krishna is saying is i will take away all your impious activities from past lives i will take away those reactions so therefore naturally there is no dukkha we are it is like we are having the shoes 
of Krishna consciousness. So even if there are pebbles and rocks and sharp grass of suffering of this world, it doesn't touch us. By performing bhakti, we are not saying that the dukkha of this world will reduce. That's not what we are saying. Dukkha will reign. The reign of dukkha will continue. But definitely, by the performance of bhakti, the shoe is protecting our consciousness from the pebbles and the rocks of distress. The performance of bhakti is like an umbrella which is protecting us from the rain shower of dukkha. If we think Krishna consciousness is just one part of my life, then it is like standing 5% into the umbrella and remaining 95% we are under the <laughs> rain. We will get wet. That 5% it may protect us, but 95% we are getting um, wet. So we have to jump 100%. Krishna consciousness is not part of life. It is the heart of life. This is why we are alive. We are alive to stand under the umbrella of Krishna's protection. Daivi yesha gunamai mama maya duratyaya mameva ye prapadhyante maya metam tarantite. Krishna is saying that dukkha is given by maya. But oh living entities, you please stand under my lotus feet and I will protect you. I will protect you from all directions. And if Krishna protects, who can destroy Mare Krishna Rakhe Ke Rakhe Krishna Mare Ke? So we must try our best. Whatever suffering comes because of past life, just to tolerate. We have to keep quiet and tolerate. Like for example, if you take a ball and you throw it on the wall, what happens? It will come back. Now with a bat, if you hit it back again, the ball goes back with more strength into the wall and it will come back. Now, if you hit it with a bat again, again, it will go to the wall, hit the wall and come back and there is no end. However, when the ball is thrown onto the wall and it comes back, you just catch it. That's it. There is no more recoiling of the ball going back and forth. This is exactly what happens with tolerance. What happens is we have thrown the ball of our activities from past life. We have done in abundance in so many lifetimes. Dear devotees, think about it. For millions and millions of lifetimes we have been in this world. Millions and millions of bodies we have taken. And for lifetimes, thousands and thousands of lifetimes, we have elo ar gelo. We have appeared, done something and died. Without even one thought of Krishna. Human forms, I'm saying, I'm not talking about animal forms. Animal forms, imagine there is absolutely no thought of God. Cockro the cockroaches are born or the uh, lizards are born or the squirrels are born, the rats are born. Not once do they think who's making this cheese that I'm eating or who is the source of all this creation. You will never see an introspective uh, lizard or croc uh, you know, crocodile or cockroach. They just lead their lives. But as human beings, many, many times we have led godless lives. And those reactions will come. So we have thrown the ball. We have eaten meat. We have probably been tribes, even killing animals live and eating them raw. We may have been cannibals in past lives. We may have done abominable activities, which now as devotees, we think it is not possible. But we have done all those activities in past life. All of us, the probability of living in this world through all different circumstances and different bodies and performing all abominable activities, the probability is very high. It's almost 100%. Is it not? Even in this life, many of us, we may have eaten meat and then come into the association of devotees, given it up and then changed our lifestyle. What to speak of so many lifetimes. So we have thrown so many balls of bad activities on the wall and they're all coming now with reactions. Now on that reaction, when we hit with the bat, which means we justify, reactions will come and it will come through people who are around us. Sometimes we criticize. Why as devotees, they're acting like this. He's supposed to be devotee chanting Hare Krishna. Why he's behaving like this? Please tell me. As brahmacharis or as residents in the temple or as future aspiring brahmacharis, if you don't work outside, you don't meet with non-devotees, you don't live with your family in the homes, you don't meet any college friends or colleagues or any social life, you're living only with devotees. Past life reactions must come. Whom will they come through? Will they come through the neighbor in some other building whom we don't even interact? How will they bring those reactions? Reactions will come through people who are around us. So if you keep yourself around uh, those who speak only about cricket or chess, then the reactions will come through them. 
if you keep yourself around singers then reactions will come through them those who are around us and similarly when we keep ourselves around devotees it's not that those devotees are like that it's just that those reactions must reach us somehow from past lives is it not and krishna is very kind to give it to us in this life and it is just it just happens to be it is coming through devotees who are around us <laughs> because we are surrounded by devotees so so many balls in past lives have been thrown and now those those bouncing those uh, reactions are coming now when that happens we justify or we you know keep the thing going and with more intensity we are justifying and giving reasons and blaming and complaining and criticizing i hope everybody is understanding this example as a result what happens the intensity in which the ball is going to hit the wall and come back is just going to increase and it's just going to go on and on and on but if we can just hold it which means tolerate that's it the reactions will not come so we have to do three things dear devotees first and foremost have unflinching faith that my only shelter in the whole world is krishna consciousness and nothing else krishna shri guru vaishnavas and krishna are my only well wishers aham hare tava padaika mulam dasanu daso bhavita svi bhuya mana smare tasu pater gunam te grinhita vak karma karo tu kaya vritrasur in the 6th canto canto 6 chapter 11 text 24 25 26 and 27 is chanting these beautiful prayers to krishna and the first prayer he says my lord if i have to reappear again in another body please give me the benediction to be a humble servant of the vaishnavas that's all that i want let me be a humble menial servant at the lotus feet of my guru maharaj who constantly mana smaret who constantly is remembering you and ashu pater gunam te grinhita vak karma karo tu kaya he is constantly glorifying through words thinking through mind and serving through hands and by serving him may i also get those qualities this is this is what vritrasura is praying and he says mama uttama shloka janeshu sakhyam krishna please give me this benediction that lifetime after lifetime may all my friends be krishna conscious and may all krishna conscious devotees be my friends that's all we have to be convinced dear devotees the books that we have shila prabhupad's books the classes that we hear the holy name that we chant the deities that we take darshan of the prasadam the charanamrit that we honor the vaishnavas that we have opportunity to serve the spiritual master whom who initiates us the temples that prabhupad has built this is our life this is our only shelter please ask yourself this question in the last one hour that we are discussing we are speaking about the glories of bhakti and how this is our we should take shelter etc did any of us feel envy in the heart lust in the heart greed in the heart anger in the heart we will not do those anarthas exist in us yes but now when we are in this assembly speaking about krishna and the process of bhakti it is like a kavach it is like a narayan kavach that we are protected by those emotions are not coming into us but as soon as the class ends you can see the mind becomes little free and idle automatically it starts going on to these anarthas the point is those anarthas are there but when we are in krishna conscious atmosphere we are in the association and we desperately take shelter that mujhe iske atirikt aur koi aashray rahi hai jagat mein aisa nahi hai ki mujhe bhakti bhi karna hai aur phir aur anya varta anya kary bhi kar nahi prabhu main aapka hu जन्म जन्मांतर में आपका दास हूं करोड़ों जन्म बीत गए मैं आपको आपका भजन किए बिना आपके नाम के बिना आपके भक्तों के सेवा के बिना वंचित रहा हूं दिस लाइफ माय लॉर्ड आई वांट टू गिव हंड्रेड परसेंट वाई शुड आई कीप समथिंग ऑन द स्टोव फॉर टू मिनट्स एंड टेक इट आउट फॉर फाइव मिनट्स अगेन कीप इट ऑन द स्टोव फॉर अनदर टू थ्री मिनट्स ऑन द गैस स्टोव फॉर टू थ्री मिनट्स एंड अगेन टेक इट आउट फॉर टेन मिनट्स अगेन कीप इट फॉर टू थ्री मिनट्स यू थिंक इट विल गेट हॉट इट विल नॉट गेट हॉट बट इफ यू कीप इट ऑन द स्टोव एंड यू हीट इट for good 5 minutes without taking it away then you see it starts to boil or it becomes very hot so similarly our consciousness should be like that we should keep it on the gas stove of krishna consciousness and not take it away if you take it away then we will become lukewarm we should we should try moment to moment to absorb our minds and we have so, krishna consciousness is so colorful we can hear krishna katha we can study shila prabhupad's books we can chant japa we can engage in kirtan kirtan also we have so many mahamantra melodies we have so many bhajans we can learn mridanga we can learn harmonium we can learn kartal we can learn to sing 
apart from that dt worship making garlands cooking in the uh, kitchen or assisting clean up offering prasad to the vaishnavas so many organizing festivals connecting with new comers to make them devotees or connecting with devotees to see, counsel and get counseled and to help others janma sarthaka kar par upakar so many things are there sweeping the temple floor greeting newcomers who are coming into the temple giving them um, you know some card some information about the temple nothing works chapel stand is always there whoever is coming to put their chapel in the bag and serve krishna consciousness is so colorful that moment to moment we have activities to absorb our mind is it not how many books are there how many shastras are there how many classes are there iskon desiatry has been so kind like a desiatry keeping track of all the classes so and it is free internet is there we have to just use internet in the right way and hear those classes and take notes so we have so many things to absorb our mind first principle i said three principles the so first principle is we should be completely convinced that krishna consciousness is my only source of shelter and i should not waste my time moment to moment i want to keep myself on the spiritual platform mujhe us tar se hatna nahi hai man na lage koi baat nahi acha ab jab karne mein man nahi karta to bhakton ke sath baithkar kirtan karenge acha wahan man nahi karta to phir hum kuch aur seva kar lenge kitne ang hain acha kuch na ho to parikrama lagayenge tulsi ki aarti mein baithenge jo bhi ho अलग अलग सेवा कर सकते हैं हम और माया में पढ़ने के तरीके भी अनंत हैं और प्रभु के चरण आश्रित होने के तरीके भी अनंत हैं तो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट मोमेंट टू मोमेंट आई वांट टू एब्जॉर्व माय सेल्फ ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल प्लेन आई डोंट वांट टू गो बैक पीछे नहीं हटना है मुझे अब पीछे नहीं देखना है कि कहा कौन क्या कह रहा है एक्सेट्रा नथिंग आई कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस इसमें कोई तथ्य है कि नहीं भगवान है कि नहीं ये संस्था काम करेगा कि नहीं ये भक्ति नाम जप करने से मेरा मन परिवर्तित होगा कि नहीं ये सब संशय आत्मा विनश्यति अश्रद्धाधान पुरुषा अप्राप्य माम निवर्तन ते मृत्यु संसार सागर भगवान कहते हैं मृत्यु संसार वर्तमानी प्रभु कहते हैं धर्म से कि इस धर्म का नियम ऐसा है कि अश्रद्धाना पुरुष यदि कोई अश्रद्धालु हो जाए somebody becomes faithless, अप्राप्य माम वो प्रभु को प्राप्त नहीं कर सकता सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज अनफ्लिंचिंग फेथ दैट आई विल कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस इज माई लाइफ दिस इज माई ओनली शेल्टर एंड इन रेस्पेक्ट टू हाउ मच दुख कम्स इन माई लाइफ आई विल नेवर गिव अप भक्ति आई विल नेवर गिव अप भक्ति चाहे जितने भी प्रतिकूल हो जाए मैं सब कुछ खो बैठू धनम च मानम च यथेन्द्रिया प्राणं च हृत्वा मम सर्वम के नो भीषण चौर इद्र दृष्ट श्रुतो वा न मैया कदा श्रीपाद बिल्व मंगल ठाकुर से माय लॉर्ड इवन इफ यू टेक अवे एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम मी आई विल नॉट गिव अप योर लोटस फीट हाउ मच एवर दुख कम्स कृष्ण आई हैव इवन इफ यू डोंट एक्सेप्ट मी आई हैव आई विल होल्ड ऑन टू योर लोटस फीट लाइक अ लीच अब हम नहीं छोड़ेंगे प्रभु आप हमें स्वीकारो ना स्वीकारो हम आपके हैं हम आप ही के हैं हम इसके इस जगत के कभी नहीं थे वी नेवर बिलोंग टू दिस वर्ल्ड वी आर नॉट बिलोंगिंग टू दिस वर्ल्ड वी कैन नेवर बिलोंग टू दिस वर्ल्ड इवन इफ वी जस्ट सर्वाइव इन दिस वर्ल्ड फॉर अनादर फाइव मिलियन ईयर स्टिल वी विल नॉट बिलोंग टू दिस वर्ल्ड एंड इवन इफ वी डोंट नो अबाउट इट स्टिल वी बिलोंग टू कृष्णा दिस इज अवर रिलेशन विद राधा एंड कृष्णा एंड महाप्रभु दिस इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट सेकेंड पॉइंट वॉट एवर प्रतिकूल वॉट एवर in auspicious whatever reversals come in our life we must remember a few things that the person is simply a medium and he is not responsible my guru maharaj gives this example let's say there is a bottle in the hand and with i hold the bottle in the hand and i hit my head bottle lekar ek bottle lekar main apne sir mein agar maru if i hit my head with that bottle and then i loudly shout what kind of bottle is this this bottle is hitting me on the head this example i gave last time when we met also <laughs> that if you hold a bottle and we hit on the head and if somebody complains that the bottle is responsible then that person is called mad because he himself is holding the bottle and he himself is hitting and then he is blaming the poor bottle so similarly people in this world are like bottle and when they hit we are blaming them but actually behind that bottle is our own hand of past reactions 
हमने ही कुकर्म किया जिसके कारण वो निमित्त बने हैं सो नो बडी कैन एवर हार्म अस देर इज नो इल विशर फॉर अस वॉट एवर कृष्णा हैज गिवन अस इट इज ओनली मंगल विधान देर इज ओनली ऑस्पिशियसनेस ओनली ऑस्पिशियसनेस प्लीज टेल मी वेन यू स्टैंड फॉर चरणामृत लाइन वी स्टैंड इन द लाइन फॉर गेटिंग चरणामृत डू वी थिंक कि पानी वाला चरणामृत है कि पंचामृत वाला चरणामृत है कि तुलसी मुझे मिलेगा कि तुलसी नहीं है ये सब नहीं सोच विचार है बस चरणामृत है दिस इज कृष्ण चरणामृत वेदर इट इज आउट ऑफ वॉटर और वेदर इट इज आउट ऑफ हनी और वेदर इट पंचामृत इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट एवर आई रिसीव आई विल एक्सेप्ट ग्रेट ग्रेटफुली इज इट नॉट दैट्स हाउ इट इज सिमिलरली वॉट एवर कम्स इन माई लाइफ इट इज द चरणामृत ऑफ कृष्ण कृष्ण हैज गिवन इट टू मी कृष्ण हैज डिसाइडेड दैट फॉर मी whatever comes in my life whether i uh, get gali or whether i get tali whether i get joy or whether i get suffering krishna has orchestrated that for me that is the right medicine the doctor has given in his prescription for the patient the person outside what do you call that person compounder right or so that compounder is not responsible the doctor is the one writing the prescription compounder is simply taking the medicine and giving it to us or telling us where to buy it from and if we blame the compounder ki side effects ho raha hai aapke karan compounder se hum to keval nimit hain doctor sahab jo prescription likhe hain uske anusar hum chal rahe hain so krishna is the doctor and we are all patients and krishna gives the prescription in the form of whatever comes in our life so we are responsible not the mediums another point to remember is if we react then the cycle will continue like i was giving the example of the bat and the ball we simply tolerate tolerate karne mein sahan karne mein hi hamari bhalai hai hamara hit hai hitkari hai hmm? and also to remember that at that point when there is dukha it is the most favorable circumstance when we can call out to krishna when everything is favorable sab kuch anukul chal raha hai हम प्रभु को अर्थ भाव से नहीं पुकार पाएंगे प्रसाद भी है धोती भी अच्छी है कुर्ता भी चल रहा है स्वास्थ्य भी ठीक है सब कुछ खुशल मंगल तो कैसे हम कौन से अभाव वॉट आर वी लैकिंग दैट वी विल कॉल आउट टू कृष्ण बट वेन देर इज एनी कंसर्न देर इज सम एंगजाइटी इन द माइंड और देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम इन द बॉडी और वॉट एवर दुख में कम सम मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग मिस कम्युनिकेशन वी फील नो बडी इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग अस इंस्टेड ऑफ रनिंग फॉर सिंपति इन दिस वर्ल्ड टेलिंग पीपल That, देखो उसने क्या किया या ऐसे व्यवहार कर रहे हैं हमें केवल चाहिए कि लोग बोए कि हाँ हाँ हा, आप कितने महान हैं इतना कुछ सह रहे हैं आप हम होते तो टूट जाते हैं आप कितने बस इसके लिए हम जाते हैं दिस इज वाई वी गो फॉर सिंपति मेनी टाइम्स वी डोंट इवन वॉन्ट द सोल्यूशन वी जस्ट गो फॉर सिंपति दिस इज वाई वी गो बट इंस्टेड ऑफ शेडिंग टीयर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ पीपल फॉर सिंपति दैट दो टीयर्स ऑफ दुख वी कैन शेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ कृष्ण एंड आस्क फॉर हेल्प माई लॉर्ड you please help me tolerate i don't know where i went wrong but my lord i don't want sympathy i want the sampati of your shelter <laughs> this is what i want so in all circumstances tolerate and never blame complain criticize the medium understand we are responsible and take advantage of that circumstance by calling out to krishna and the third point is never to sin again never to go back on that path first point never waste time and take shelter of krishna as on priority as our only shelter second point tolerate all mis all misunderstandings and all inconveniences and third point don't sin again because when we sin it starts a new karma bandhan cycle any activity that we perform anything it could be Sometimes people say मैं किन्हीं को हानि तो नहीं पहुंचा रहा मैं अपने आप में बैठकर पिक्चर देख रहा हूँ देर आर डिवोटीज हुआ टोल्ड मी दैट लाइक बिगिनिंग डिवोटीज वेन वी वर डूइंग सम यूथ प्रोग्राम सम बॉयज आई एस दैम वाई यू आर वॉचिंग ऑल दिस वाई एंड आई कॉट वन बॉय इवन वॉचिंग सम बैड कॉन्टेंट सो आई कॉट हिम एंड ही सेड वेन आई एस्ट हिम आई सेड वाई यू आर वॉचिंग ऑल दिस so he said prabhu at least i am not killing anybody i am not harming anybody i am not criticizing mai akele mein baith ke you know ekta jeev sada shiv sarkh mi baslo hai ani mi konala kai bolat nahi mi ekta baslo ani mi baktoy movie tumhala kay karaycha mhanje yachat kay problem kay mala karat nahi you was telling me in marathi i said look 
the eyes that krishna has given you you are misusing that those eyes must be used to watch good things reading shastra and taking darshan of the deity now what goes in through the eye stays as an a thought in the mind and then what what is thought in the mind will come out as kriya you will feel like acting on those thoughts so don't give in any bad input whether through the ear through the eye through the mouth in the form of anything um, that is not offered to krishna or in the form of any bad activities like you know venting it out etc whatever may be whatever we have to write down in our diary what are the things that i am most vulnerable to what what is adharmic and we should give it up because anything that breaks regulative principle or shastric principle will only start a new cycle now and then we have to suffer for all of that in the future and then tolerate etc so three points first point taking shelter of krishna as our only शेल्टर एंड नो बडी एल्स कोई नहीं जितना दुख आ जाए कोई भी मेरा नहीं है केवल कृष्ण है गुरु परंपरा वैष्णव कम्युनिटी एंड राधा वृंदावन चंद्र देर इज नो बडी एल्स फॉर मी आई सो वॉट एवर हैपीनेस और दुख आई एक्सपीरियंस आई विल रन ओनली टू देम दे आर माई मेंटेनर गर्तिर भरता प्रभु साक्षी निवास शरणम सूर्य प्रभव प्रलय स्थानम निदानम बीजम अभ्यम कृष्ण इज एवरीथिंग नॉट जस्ट सेंग तम एव माता च पिता तम एव रियलाइजिंग इट माता रामो मत पिता रामचंद्र स्वामी रामो मत सखा रामचंद्र सर्वस्व मे रामचंद्रो दयालु नान्यम जाने नैव जाने न जाने राम रक्षा स्त्रोत्र दैट कृष्ण इज माय ओनली शेल्टर सेकंड व्हाट एवर इनकन्वीनियंस कम वी टॉलरेट वी डोंट क्रिटिसाइज वी डोंट ब्लेम वी डोंट कंप्लेन वी टेक इट दैट दिस इज द मेडिसिन आई नीड टू क्योर my anarthas however difficult it is the false ego needs some rubbing and some purification so this is for me and third point not to start a new karmic cycle by acting uh, on the path of rajogun and tamogun if these three things we follow then the success on the path is guaranteed however there is a big king principle about all three and what is that to be under the guidance of a superior if we become independent angels and we think ha main janta hu main dekh lunga one time i went for one program it was not a uh, iskon program they had invited uh, me as one of the guests in that program and there were other guests also from different sanstha they wanted to have one person from art of living one person from isha foundation one person from swami chinmayananda one person from iskon one person like that and there was a get together and um, i was trying to represent shila prabhupad and iskon so one person was speaking <clears throat> from some samstha i don't know and he said there is no need of guru you can be your own guru and the problem is people are finding guru outside but we ourselves are gurus our mind is our guru he was saying <laughs> and i was thinking this is diametrically opposite to what krishna says in the bhagavad gita Uh, so i was i was thinking to myself everybody is coming to sit to listen to him and he is saying there is no need to listen to anybody outside then why we should listen to him and such i felt like asking him that if you are saying that there is no need to listen to anybody outside as guru then why i should listen to you <laughs> my mind is saying not to listen to you <laughs> and i can follow my mind very weird philosophy very weird but however we all should understand that tishthan vrajetat anuragi jananugami rupa goswami in the eighth verse of nectar of instruction says success comes only when we are under a superior shiksha guru diksha guru and uh, our superiors spiritual superiors management superiors in the temple so we all should have a superior and work under their guidance share uh, reveal our weaknesses share our insecurities share our sadhana card and seek help in this way by following these three principles with the main crown principle that we mentioned success is guaranteed in krishna consciousness when we break any of these principles that is when taste is lost thank you so much hare krishna shila prabhu pad ki jaye kaudiya guru varga ki jaye all glories to all the assembled vaishnavas vanchakalpa drupesh chakrapa sindhubhyai vachapati tanam pavanibhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namaha